At the residence of 23-year-old Nabila, we met with her brother, a member of the Albino Association, thinking about the next step to take as doctors have now told Nabila to go for a surgery for a broken arm. I have moved from one hospital to another and all are giving me the same results to operate my hand. He also blinded my right eye and destroyed my telephone. He is not even sorry about what he did to me. Nabila was beaten up by a supposed lover by name Ndikum as the lady insisted on leaving a relationship which is filled with bitter memories though the mother is against it. The worst thing is that my biological mother is supporting him because she is disturbed about who will take care of the child if the father is locked up. I was fed up of him maltreating me so I went to his house to collect the birth certificate of my child so that he can live our lives. In several attempts made by Equinox television at getting the version of the accused, he rejected our calls. A member of the Albino Association in Douala, who was with Nabila at the court of first instance in Douala on Tuesday, told us, My main objective is for justice to be done. The reason why I accompanied her to the state council, the man should be arrested and condemned, as the state council mentioned. If he is allowed, then Albinos will be in trouble in Cameroon. The daily maltreatment that Nabila went through didn't go unnoticed as the brother told us. The father of her child and I almost fought the other day, but I can't take the law into my hands. Let justice take its course. It's a worrying situation. With a summon already addressed to Ndikum to appear before the court, many are hoping that this time around the justice system of Cameroon would render satisfactory results to the victim, Nabila.